Here are some notes on the S3 and S4 heart sounds. Your S3 heart sound is the third heart sound, and it occurs during rapid filling of diastole. There's a sudden limitation of ventricular filling flow during quick diastole. Sometimes this happens in a big floppy ventricle. Uh, sometimes it happens physiologically without any pathology. It coincides with the Y descent of the atrial pressure waveform, and it happens after S2. It's depicted on this diagram down here, after S2. There are physiologic reasons to have an S3. This is heard in healthy young children, young adults, athletes with a slow heart rate, and high output states like pregnancy and thyrotoxicosis. There are pathologic reasons to have an S3 as well. It's abnormal in any patient over the age of 40, and it indicates an enlarged ventricular chamber, hemodynamically significant chronic mitral regurge, or an early sign of heart failure or dilated cardiomyopathy. Next is the S4 heart sound, or the fourth heart sound. Mechanism here is atrial contraction against a stiff, non-compliant ventricle that makes an abnormal sound, and it happens with atrial contraction. It occurs during atrial systole, after the P wave on EKG. So it's not depicted on this diagram, but the P wave is here, and the fourth heart sound would be somewhere around here. It coincides with the A wave of the atrial pressure waveform, and it's always pathological. It's almost always abnormal in young adults and children, um, it's common in chronic conditions like hypertension, aortic stenosis, hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. It may be heard in healthy older adults due to age-related decreased ventricular compliance, but it's still not a good sign for the heart. You don't want your heart to have decreased ventricular compliance. 